Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes, your daily energy, your daily tarot reading for Wednesday, April 25th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is the energies I'm picking up today. Whenever it resonates, it resonates. This is for all signs. What do they need to know? Well, the Seven of Swords with the Sun card. Perhaps somebody, you know, is happy that somebody's gotten caught. You know, this didn't come out reversed, but somebody could have gotten caught. Somebody's been lying. Somebody's been cheating, sneaking around, up to no good. But there's a feeling of happiness. Maybe somebody has realized that they've been enlightened because that sun is enlightenment as well. The truth has come out. Yeah, the, uh, you know. <laughs> there's some sort of discouragement here. Somebody has been discouraged over a situation. Lost their faith. But feeling happy? What the hell is this? Well, yeah, there has been a loss of faith. Somebody has lost their faith. They've lost their faith. They've lost their belief. But maybe they've come to the conclusion that their wish fulfillment isn't there so they're leaving some sort of commitment and it makes them happy somebody's leaving a commitment with where they were once committed to and it makes them happy because there's been too many lies <laughs> too much sneaky behavior yeah and it's left them feeling discontent i can't i can't stay where there's dishonesty I don't want this opportunity. It's unfulfilling. There's an unfulfilling opportunity because you're dealing with somebody that is very sneaky. And it feels like now whatever has happened has caused a, some sort of inner transformation evolvement okay somebody has learned something from this situation and it's it's really brought them the balance that they need which is hard to believe but you know usually when the truth comes out about somebody's sneaky behavior and people come to the grips with it and they realize it it does start to restore balance, okay? So it feels like there's some sort of healing that is going on after some truth is revealed and accepted. And I do see the period of healing where somebody has had to take a time out to heal because they had lost their faith, they had lost their inspiration, they had lost their hope, So they had to go through this spiritual renewal to feel happy again, okay? So it feels as though something ended in disaster, something ended uh, abruptly, and it, and it caused so much discontent that there was no choice but to cooperate, feel the emotions, accept them, and heal. I feel like there's, there's uh, a lot of emotion involved here. A lot of emotion. Somebody has uh, 
gone through a very difficult time where where they have totally there's been a break in a commitment there's been a breakup there's been a split which has caused a lot of overwhelming emotions per se and somebody has to t had to take a step back and be patient with themselves work on themselves put themselves where they need to be and not engage in other commitments at this time. So it feels like somebody has ripped off the mask, whether you've risk, ripped off the mask of another person or you've ripped off your own mask, you've taken the ma mask off. And when you take the mask off, you have to accept her. You have to accept loss. You have to accept whatever happened. And I feel like that's what's happened here. And it's left somebody feeling very down and um, unhappy and discontent. And they, they, they were basically forced to go within and work on themselves and take the mask off so that they could heal. To heal, you have to accept pain. So I feel like somebody has had to do that. I'll make sure this is zoomed in since I forgot yesterday. Okay, so somebody has been working on themselves, and it's a good thing, okay? Whatever happened um, was probably intense, okay? It was probably um, pretty shocking, whatever it was. It was pretty shocking, but I feel like you have regained the balance in your life because of acceptance. There's definitely been some sort of acceptance here. I accept the truth, so, you know, it is what it is. So somebody has learned a big lesson here. They had. Somebody has learned a major life lesson in regards to betrayal. You know, these betrayal... So, true suffering brings true growth. And that's what's happened here. Somebody has suffered. But they've learned something from it. They realize what they, they realize that it's something happened for a reason. They've been enlightened. And I feel like now they're cooperating with their feelings. They're cooperating with themselves. No longer fighting it. No longer fighting it. I accept it. I learned. And you're about... And because when you learn, you let yourself start over. So I feel like a, a major lesson has been learned through suffering. And now someone is about to start on a new chapter, a new phase. A new phase is right in front of you because the mask has been taken off. When you take the mask off, you heal and healing has happened. Somebody has been healing themselves. Yeah, there's been an end of a contract. There's been an end of a relationship, a partnership. In which someone has been indecisive. Somebody's been indecisive about ending this. Even though it may have ended for a while. It may be done. There's been some element of. You know the mask. The mask has been on. Yeah it's over but I don't believe it's over. I don't believe it's over. You know. Disbelief. But I feel like now. Acceptance is here. Acceptance. I'm not going to pretend anymore. I'm not going to fake it anymore. It's time for me to be happy again. And so it feels as though there's been no action taken. In finding a new partner or new love or something like that. Because of a destructive situation. 
that led to no commitment, no firm, solid commitment. Somebody had stalled from leaving a relationship, from leaving a partnership. They'd been stalling. They'd been holding out. They'd been waiting. All the while losing hope and faith and love, keeping the mask on and just stalling, just, just standing still. But it, but it was a disaster anyway. I mean, it was. It was a false foundation. It was a false commitment. And it was burdensome. So somebody has been holding on to a burden. That, that was... built on shaky ground there was there was some sort of commitment that was was never solid it wasn't cemented it wasn't stable and they i feel that somebody had the best of intentions here of making it work but it could have started out impulsively, okay? There could have been an impulsive, quick start here. Somebody tried to move too fast, not knowing who the other person really was. You know, in the lover's cards about consequences, there's consequences for moving too fast. So I feel like somebody has learned a really big lesson in regards to probably one of them is impulsiveness. Not being patient because the temperance is patience. Be patient. Be patient. So I feel like today's message is about accepting the truth and healing and learning from your past mistakes. Somebody moved too fast into a commitment, into a relationship. That's what I see. And it brought on a lot of burdens because they didn't know who they were dealing with. It wasn't ever meant to lead to wish fulfillment and a solid foundation. It wasn't. It wasn't a solid foundation. It was probably based on lust. And I feel like somebody in the dynamic did have good intentions. But when you jump into something without knowing the other person, you know, there's potential for downfall. And I feel like something has fallen apart because somebody jumped, leaped, And I feel like somebody has come to the acceptance and learned something really big and has allowed themselves to start the healing process to bring balance back to their lives. They've learned a big lesson. Somebody has learned a big lesson from moving too fast.
Let's see what else I can get for today. I'm going to get a couple more cards here. Somebody is going through a healing process. That is bringing them down a new path, okay? Because you're starting a new chapter. But that world card, something is over. Somebody has found the closure that they need. They have. They've accepted it, and that brings closure. Moving on. Starting a new chapter. Starting a new journey. Looking for more. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for something else. I accept what happened. I see what happened. I'm going to slow down in the future. <laughs> and I'm not going to hurry. I'm not going to hurry into a commitment. Ooh. We're going to get one of those. We're going to get one. Surrender. I can release my need to control. Surrender. Surrender to the universe, okay? Because the world is a universe card. Surrender. You can't control the plan. Accept what has happened. Let yourself heal. Keep doing what you're doing. Healing. A contract has ended, and there's no going back. That's what it looks like to me. There's no wish fulfillment in a previous. There's no wish fulfillment in a previous contract. There's too many burdens. There's too much baggage. Too much has happened. So there's no forward movement and a commitment that someone, you know, may still have the mask on. Some of you have ripped the mask off and you're about to start a new journey. Some of you have not. Some of you are still holding on to a false foundation. Patience. This is patience as well. Patience. Like I said, slow down. Slow down. Impulses, impulsiveness can lead to disaster. Mm. Let the universe work for you in divine timing okay you don't have to rush you don't have to hurry into anything so i feel like today is a day of taking off that mask accepting the truth And starting a new chapter. Now, whether this is today, yesterday, the day before, last week, last month, or next week. Somebody needs to, needs to accept the truth of a situation. And be patient enough to wait for what is meant to be. So I guess that's what I have for today. Sorry it's so long. I just woke up. 